I do have one question because I don't take insurance at this time. Does Jane have the capability to automatically bill through insurance or do you have to use an external method to do that? That's a really interesting, um, that's really interesting because do we, we can't automatically bill to insurance, but we do have an integration with ClaimMD, which is the clearinghouse we would bill to. Okay. So I would say that there are three different ways that we can bill. So let's go through that process together. So if I go to sched the schedule and I come in and I'm going to book a new appointment here. Let's do a subsequent visit. And I'm going to do that with Nina. That's who I set up for myself today. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick one. We can go through that process mm -hmm. later. Okay, so I've already got my Medicare policy there. I'm going to add a very creative initial exam in here. And uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Codes, I'm really bad. 97001. Oh, 97001. I think it's a billing code. 97001. Yep. Okay, perfect. That's probably much better than this one. <laughs> I, don't I don't know if it was going to work, but here we are. Diagnosis <laughs> codes you got going on there? Still, still somewhere in there. I do have more. Uh, 97115. 97115. Okay, perfect. Oh, oh three. Do 97113. 97113. There it is. There it is. Oh, aquatic therapy. That sounds good. That cool. wasn't the one I was thinking. There's another Therex one. It's it's going to brew. I don't do billing as much anymore. No worries. Oh, sorry. Get a little input from my cat here. <laughs> All right. So if I go ahead and add in some billing and diagnosis codes here and I go ahead and arrive, what it's going to do is it's going to create two different bills for me, two different invoices. One is going to be for Nina, the client for patient responsibility. If there was a copay, that would be left outstanding until that was paid. And then two, you can see Medicare here is in our unsubmitted folder waiting for us to submit to the clearinghouse. Now, if I drop down next to this pay button here, you can see right at the bottom CMS 1500 option. So if you did still, if you were printing out CMS 1500s, we do have the capability to provide that. Um, and that is one way that you can submit to insurance. The second way that you can submit, if I go into my billing here and I scroll down, uh, we are going to go, I'm actually going to use drafts just because it's a little bit easier for me to work in. So if I go to drafts and I select just one as an example here and submit that selected claim, you can see that it's ready to go. And if I come down to the bottom here and generate my submission, this is the second way that you can submit. Got it. This is now with Medicare. Yeah. Uh, with Medicare, it's uh, because it's gone it's directly to claim MD. Um, as soon as we hit generate, ClaimMD through that integration has grabbed hold of that 837 file and they are doing what they need to on their end to submit to Medicare. Beautiful. Love that. The third option, if you're not working with ClaimMD because ClaimMD is the only clearinghouse that we have an integration with, is to download this 837 EDI file and then go directly to your clearinghouse and then upload that into their portal, which will take care of the remainder of that process. When the response comes in from the insurer, then you will grab that from your clearinghouse and that's going to be the 835 oh. response file and you're going to upload that into the remittances area. Again, if it was with ClaimMD, that is all automated, so it would just populate in this immediately. Great, that's a great integration. Yeah. And I'm assuming that integration probably has a, a third-party payment system, or is that just something that you apply to? I'm asking because I, I honestly don't use this. Yeah, no, clearing, uh, the clearinghouse, in this case, ClaimMD that, I, that I'm referencing, does have their own payment. Um, there is a discount when you're working with Jane and with ClaimMD because of that integration. Um, but the prices, let me pull up the prices for us. Perfect. So we have ClaimMD and Jane here, and you can see the pricing. Um, there is the unlimited plan uh, for $90 a month, again, with the Jane discount, $10. Small volume, which is usually, I believe, 100, yep, 100 claims, $45. And then we have the 
kind of basic uh, pay as you go. Yeah, pay as you go. That's where I got that reference from. <laughs> uh, $22.50, again, that 10% discount. So the cool thing with ClaimMD um, is we really we signed up with them for a few reasons, one of them being their large, large network and another being their really fantastic customer care. Mm -hmm. And we really pride ourselves on our customer care. So a suggestion would always be schedule a demo. It's always good to get that that uh, information directly from them, um, have that discussion about where ClaimMD is going to be able to fit with you and your clinic. Um, and we really appreciate the service that they provide. So we know you're in good hands. Love that. I think the integration with companies that you also stand behind is uh, really important across the board because people who pick Jane usually are picking it for their customer service, their small um, business feel, like you're, you're dealing with a small business, even though it's not a small business. Yeah. Um, so I think that's, I think that's a great, great addition.